stop the presses. The Game Boy Classic may be a thing, and it may be happening soon. That is if you're someone who happens to follow trademarks. Now, I'm not always the best at staying on top of the trademark game. Oftentimes, trademarks don't mean a whole lot. It's just you know, people trademark ideas and IPs and renew things all the time. But the Game Boy trademark isn't something that's been touched in a long time. And the Anime News Network, of all places, is the place that actually caught wind of this, uh, coming from a Japanese Twitter feed that keeps track of the Japanese trademarks. And it says that Nintendo filed the trademark in Japan on September 15th. So this happened, you know, a little less than a month ago. And it's leading some to speculate that a mini Game Boy console could be on the horizon. Nintendo's trademark includes an image resembling the company's original handheld gaming device. And it was filed under the categories for programs for household video game machines and also filed under household video games, as well as a merchandise category like keychains, bag charms, cosmetic tools, and clothings. And I'll have a link to the actual tweet and the Anime News Network piece on this in the description below. But this is just interesting to me because obviously uh, there's been Game Boy merchandise out there. So uh, uh, maybe not in Japan, but at least in the United States, uh, we've had Game Boy merchandise for a while. I, I work with a company called Merchoid uh, that has some Game Boy related merchandise and we see that all over Amazon. So it's not necessarily that I want to stick much on the merchandise point. We should talk about the fact that it's being filed under programs for household video game machines and household video games because the Game Boy line hasn't been around since the Game Boy Advance. Uh, it was replaced by the Nintendo DS, even though to this day Nintendo said the DS is not a replacement for the Game Boy. Um, the Game Boy Advance ended up being the final Game Boy. I Maybe mean, you want to talk about the Game Boy Micro, but uh, yeah, it's interesting to see that. And the fact that it's using the OG design... Uh, in the documents lets you know that this is definitely talking about the original Game Boy. And this leads to the supposed speculation that the Game Boy Micro could be coming or what it would likely be called the Nintendo Game Boy Classic because Nintendo is on that classic kick and the NES Classic and SNES Classic have been wild success stories for the company, for investors, for everything. Uh, it'll be interesting that there's obviously some improvements they would include with it, just like they included with things uh, like the NES Classic and SNES Classic. As an example, it's got to have a backlit screen, right? <laughs> uh, it would be really, really weird if they re-released a classic Game Boy that had, you know, 30 packed-in Game Boy games and then made us have to resort to throwing lamps over our Game Boy and buying really odd uh, accessories to gain light or only be able to play outside. Uh, yeah, but... It's just interesting to me that this is a thing that has been filed in Japan and filed specifically uh, for its design in video games and video machines for the household. Uh, is it going to happen? I, yeah, I, I think so. This is technically a rumor. Just to make this clear, this does not mean that the Game Boy Classic Edition is going to happen. So what I want to do is I want to turn this conversation into talking about what games do we want to see released for the Game Boy Classic. Let me know, you know, say 30 games or so, or not even 30, if you can come up with a handful of Game Boy games you would like to see released, and also a handful of improvements you would like to see included from modern technology uh, in a Game Boy Classic. You know, how big do you want it to be? Obviously, the original fat Game Boy was, I mean, an original fat Game Boy. It was big. Uh, it did fit in your pocket, kind of, sort of, if you had big pockets. Uh, it sucked the, the living hell out of uh double a batteries i used to go through those like crazy not as bad as the sega game gear but much more powerful systems so uh it's also going to be curious if they include the game boy color in this so are we going to get all the games in color or is it just going to be uh, a game boy classic edition and then a game boy color classic edition to come you know at a later date uh, there's been some speculation over, you know, an N64 Classic Edition and everything, and maybe Nintendo wants to give more time on the N64 Classic and instead bring the Game Boy Classic out instead, begin the Game Boy line, you know, do the Game Boy Classic one year, then the Game Boy Color Classic the next year, uh, and then, you know, head on back to the N64 Classic, then switch on over to 
uh, the Game Boy Advance Classic, whatever the case may be, Nintendo is perfectly set up to run these classic systems for at least another decade. And I don't really think that's a problem. Uh, we obviously all have a chance to go buy Game Boys right now if we want used Game Boys and used games. Uh, a lot of these games are available on eShops, and I'm not really that concerned about... Uh, these systems existing and taking anything away from other endeavors Nintendo's doing. A lot of companies do this with their classic retro systems. There's no reason Nintendo shouldn't be doing it as well. And there's obviously demand, and I I really want this thing. Uh, I grew up with the OG Game Boy. It was m the first gaming experience that was truly mine. The NES was my dad's in the household. The Game Boy was mine. It was my Game Boy. I can't even remember if I got it for Christmas or my birthday. I all I know is that Super Mario Land was like the first game I had on it. And then later Link's Awakening and, and so many others. I loved Love, love, loved my Game Boy. And while the games might not hold up as well as I remember them today, uh, I still want to go back and play them. I mean, this is how I got into Pokemon, right? The OG Game Boy with Pokemon. Oh, it was just awesome. Anyways, folks, let me know your thoughts on the potential of a Game Boy Classic. Do you want it to exist? If it does exist, what improvements do you want to see? Uh, how big should it be? And it's obviously going to have to take like the form of the original Game Boy. How many games do you think is a good number? What are the games you want on it? Let me know down in the comments below. We'll probably have a bigger discussion on this on a future episode of the Nintendo Prime Podcast. Which, by the way, we have had have a new episode of the Nintendo Prime Podcast coming a little bit later today. Uh, featuring the one and only hype man himself, HMK, talking about the future of Zelda. Hope you look forward to that episode. And be sure to check out our podcast playlist. Uh, it's the best way to listen to our full podcast without necessarily having to become a Patreon backer, which is where we have our full audio podcast posted to. Anyways, folks, I'm Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. But if you hit that dislike button, that kind of sucks because we're giving away a copy of Super Mario Odyssey. A link to that is down in the description below. I love you guys. Thank you for all of your support in making this happen. I will see you guys in the next one.